What's up, fellow lords of gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Marvel Future Fight. So today we're going to jump right on into the latest sneak peek for uh, September update, which is going to be somewhat, I guess, maybe. We don't know how they've been rolling out these updates, but basically what I'm looking at is that we have the true King in Black is arriving. Uh, we've got Venom here with a T4, and they... I guess maybe they got some of the players from the Marvel Future Revolution uh, to design this because it's just pretty straightforward. We got T4, right? And you know it's T4 Venom. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, I know you got the commander over here asking for can we get the new no uniform from here or something like that. What I'd like is a, is a playable gore, you know, with the actual gore, the God Butcher uniform as well inside here. That would be dope as hell. But you can see it says the true King Black arrives and we know that Venom is getting his T4. This is a perfect thing for me to point out that, you know, this game's seven years old, going on eight years now, and it's still churning out content and it's still keeping players happy and keeping players lined up at the door to play, rotating, whether they were retaining players or not. It's still part of, you know, Netmarble's portfolio. Meanwhile, we've got a game like Marvel Future Revolution. We've had in communication from the development team, period, over there, and the friends list is starting to dry up. I've got 32 players out of a possible 50 on here and I've got no friend request at all the players are just dropping off I'll let you know right up front that I just delete players after about two days if you're not playing or whatever just so that we have room uh, because it just doesn't make to have you on the squad anyways there but it's just sad but here we are two years in uh, seven years in excuse me tomorrow future fight and the game still churning out content and people are still enjoying it which goes to show everything's not simply about you know uh, visuals you know sometimes the visuals are good enough and the content surrounding those visuals makes the game even better especially when you are serving up visuals like what's in marvel future revolution but there isn't a whole lot of content behind it and even worse the the shop is just outside of the range of your average player so let's talk about venom though right so pretty cool venom's getting his t4 uh venom is a uh he is another combat class character, which has me like, what the hell? How many combat? Like what we got. So I, realistically, I guess we only really have combat in terms of um, uh, Hulk, but it's not bad that we're getting a, a, another combat class character. I don't want to want to complain about that. We also have Moon Knight, right? Um, so seeing another combat class character inside of here. Now, the question is whether or not Venom will remain a combat class character at tier four the reason why i say that is because if you read the uh the king and black series which is basically a symbiote invasion that basically comes to uh comes to the planet right we basically end up with a version of venom that uh eddie brock rather not venom eddie brock basically becomes uh captain universe uh I like in Captain Universe almost like Captain Planet or whatever. It's this it's this nice idea in in the comic series where you basically have someone who's the living embodiment of the universe and the universe basically protects protects the universe through them and acts through them. So that's the version of Venom that we're gonna get, right? Now a lot of other characters, namely Peter Parker, has held the power of Captain Universe and has worked its way throughout other bits and pieces, but now Venom is the or Eddie Brock is the uh you know, is Captain Universe. So will we see some iteration of that? Now, even greater of a concern about a character like Venom getting a T4 is, uh, what does this mean for the players in terms of excitement about them? Largely, if you play, uh, play the game, we all know that Venom is mostly used for his fourth skill, right? Meaning that inside of the game, you kind of put him as one of your allies, not in your top three, but like your allies. I'll show you what I mean by that. And that, that ability activates for this effect. A particle of the tissue from his symbiote suit basically falls off. And if you collect them, uh, you'll rec recover some HP. That's really what you're using because it's an awesome, amazing fourth skill. So what I mean by that is like, if I was playing a uh, world boss right inside here, right? Let's say we're playing world boss and I'm going to run a mission inside here and I go, okay, you know, yeah, I'm ready to fight this. This is my team right here. I've got Iron Man or better yet, let's, why is this character unveiled? Oh, I know why. Um, 
if I was gonna use like one of these characters inside here. Let's go back here. And they were just too weak. I was really worried about their health and their healing. Then I would set an ally team and I would utilize Venom as part of my ally team. And basically whenever he triggered inside of here, it would activate his ability. That's the ability that shows up right here. This is crucial to when you're setting your allies, right? Because you wanna make sure that some of these uh, abilities, depending on what's being activated, like defense down and stuff like that, doesn't affect your other character's abilities. But in the case of Venom, his fourth ability basically drops symbiotes on the ground and you essentially collect those and you keep your character alive. So like if you're playing as Scarlet Witch, for instance, I'm not Scarlet Witch, as uh, I was getting, thinking Scarlet Johansson, but if you're playing as Black Widow, she has survivability issues, utilizing Venom as a character to kind of help shore her up would be a really nice thing to do, right? But the problem is, is, is that worthy of a, T4, a T4? Because for the large life cycle of Venom, that's primarily been his usage is that he's kind of strayed into the shadows of ally characters who have really good buff effects for your main team, and that's it. Are you going to really run and scramble to get a T4 version of Venom that just does that, that just kind of supports? I highly doubt that, you know? I, I really doubt that. Like, that, that's not where I want to see Venom. I would like to see that ability stick around, but I would like to see him outclass that ability in terms of what he brings to the table in terms of being an attacker um, or a defender or more of a, you know, a role character that you want to equip in your uh, in your in your main team. Because um, that's just the truth of the matter, right? We, we don't want to see Venom in just that way. Like it like it having Venom at tier four where he's just doing that where his leadership is just providing debuff duration, where his passives provide um, nothing to to the team or any way, uh, you know, basically none of this basically applies. And the funny part is that Venom has some really, really cool looking skills. Like I remember when this uniform for War of the Realms was released, we got this Venom in here and I thought everybody thought the dinosaur <laughs> Venom was really cool. Like his abilities actually looked pretty amazing in my opinion overall. The sad part is though, out of this character pool, you don't use them because you literally get that fourth ability and you use those and you can see the symbiote uh, tissues right here. You run around and collect those bad boys and it's basically a wrap. That's all you're using Venom for right like you're not doing very much else right we can't stomach to have a t4 venom that this is the this is his only usage that he's an ally character that tier six is it, it, that tier three ability it's pretty cool seeing the fucking dino dino symbiote come from the ground and stuff like that but i don't think players are going to invest in a t4 that basically does little for them other than remain an ally character so i'm hoping that they buff him in that regard like i said marvel future marvel future fight has been around for seven years right now um and it's nice seeing the changes that are happening for characters to grow and stuff like that um and go into the t4 and us to be able to resort and classify characters in, in terms of their goodness um, I'm hoping with this update that we also get something for uh, for Gore. I'm, I'm really, really praying that we get a uniform for, for, for Gore, especially because I want to see the Gore, the God Butcherer from the comics, not the Christian Bale. And I'd really like to see a playable version of Gore, the God Butcherer as well in the game. So I'm hoping to see more from it. I'm pretty sure we're going to get more tonight, more to follow. And it's looking like it's going to be just another one of those great updates that we'll be thankful for because I know a lot of players are really ecstatic about a character like, uh, like Venom in the first place. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, peace.